one talking about light blue O intense for men by Dolce and Gabbana. The notes in this are frozen grapefruit, mandarin, salty, aquatic marine notes, juniper, musk, and amberwood. This is like an aromatic citrus aquatic with a musky woodsy dry down. Not bad at all, but there's something in it that comes across as more earthy and dark than I would personally like. I don't know what it could be, maybe the juniper combined with something else, but I usually don't mind Jupiter, juniper at all and I actually like it, so I'm not sure what, but whatever it is clashes a little bit with kind of the extreme freshness that it's paired with. Maybe it's the amberwood. Uh, this also has a very strong, like, alcoholy synthetic opening to me, not as in boozy notes, as in like perfume, perfumer's alcohol, like rubbing alcohol type of spell. Uh, I saw some other people note that, but if you can get past the opening and, you know, the notes look good to you and you like sort of aquatic marine with like a juniper freshness and musky wood sort of dry down maybe you would like it more i'm not particularly impressed by it but uh you do get better performance from this for sure than you typically get from this kind of fresh scent i will say that it has good longevity and projection you can get this for as low as 60 dollars at discounters if it was me and i'm picking you know one my favorite in the light blue line is the love is love pour om edition but that's nothing like this that's more of like a sweet it has like an ice cream note uh but in terms of the ones that are more like this i would recommend something like light blue forever which still has that grapefruit and kind of the classic stuff but it just has a little bit less of whatever kind of weird vibe is going on here that has like a slight earthy touch or something like that um but i'll put links in the description where you can get a bottle or sample if you want to check it out